what gives our lives enduring significance? What makes the, the details of our lives worth going through and doing when we realize that in a hundred years, maybe no one will remember? And these feel like extraordinary days, and in some ways they are. But it's quite possible that the details of these days will be all but forgotten to history. Maybe your children and grandchildren will remember you for a little while. But more than likely, our great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren will not. They certainly won't remember the details of these days that feel to us, we experience them as uh, as overwhelming, as monumental, as massive, as huge, whatever the adjective is you'd like to apply. That's how we experience them. But I was reading in First Chronicles 11 today. Yeah, I know. Probably not where you were reading, I wouldn't imagine. But First Chronicles 11 helps provide some perspective on our lives, as do, I think, all the genealogies and, and a lot of the history books of of the scriptures. They provide us with some perspective to bear in mind that our lives do not fundamentally have meaning and significance because of us or because of the great details of our lives or our accomplishments. What gives our lives meaning and significance is that they're part of a bigger story. What gives our lives enduring significance is if we are connected to the enduring story of Jesus and his glory. Here's why 1 Chronicles 11 helps me uh, in, that, in that regard. You have in 1 Chronicles 11 a list of David's mighty men. These were the warrior elite in David's day. These were the dudes that were authorized to wear beards. Well, they probably all wore beards then, but for our context, these were the Marsat guys. These were the DevGru guys, if you're Navy. Um, these, these were the, the SEAL Team 6 dudes. That, that's who these guys were. There were 30 of them in David's uh, long reign as king. He reigned for 40 years, and over that course of 40 years, there were 30 mighty men. So this is a pretty small group. David's army was thousands upon thousands. These were the inner circle warrior elite. One guy, Benaiah, the details of his life are recorded that he killed a, a, a lion on a day that it snowed and that he struck down an Egyptian who was seven and a half feet tall using his own spear against him. And then Benaiah became the, the head of David's bodyguard. So he was... Um, he was the point person for the king's secret service detail. Those are the details of Benaiah's life. And he was one of, uh, in his day, the greatest men. That's all that we have about Benaiah. What gives Benaiah's story significance, and then all the other the 30 men in that long list of David's mighty men, what gives them significance is that they were David's mighty men. What gives their lives meaning and, and value and enduring significance is that they were connected to King David and were a part of his story. What gives our lives meaning and significance is that we're connected to a bigger story. It may be in the future that that our names get mentioned in a list of, and these endured the great COVID-19 crisis of 2020. Maybe there's some other detail that would make your life uh, a life of distinction. But more than likely, you and I are not going to be written about in the history books. More than likely, you and I will be forgotten by our great-grandchildren, if we have great-grandchildren. The details of our lives are not what give us fundamental significance and enduring meaning. 
what provides enduring significance to our lives is that we are connected to a greater story. What gives us meaning and purpose, even in the midst of the details, is that we are connected to King Jesus. And we are a part of his story. And his story is one that will be told for all of eternity. And so as you're going through the details of today, of this week, of this crisis, know that what is going to give you ultimate and eternal and lasting significance is not how you endure these days or what decisions you make or don't make, but the fact that you in Christ are connected to an eternal story, the eternal story. That's what gives us significance and meaning and value. Not the details of our lives, not striking down an Egyptian with his own uh, spear, not enduring corona. What gives us meaning and significance is that we're connected to and tied into the story of King Jesus. So, beloved, grace and peace are and will be yours in King Jesus. Press on.